Hello, my name is Kiriath, and oh my god, it's Monday. It's Monday, which means there is some sort of fancy reveal, as happens most Mondays now. It's quite nice. It's quite a nice steady flow, a trickle, a trickle of teas, if you will. Maybe not. Let's not. Let's just ignore. I might cut that out. Anyway, so <laughs> this time we've got a new doc. A new, a new orc model. Orc with a K. That's the important bit. Orc with a K. This is solid, all right? So... This is a pain boss, and this is alongside the rest of the beast snagger stuff. As they say, as you might expect, a group of orcs that hang around almost exclusively with big angry squigs suffer more than their fair share of injuries before they even get to the fight in. With such constant demand for dock services, it comes as no surprise that many of the beast snaggers get rather good at the art of battlefield surgery. Now, does this lad, or does this lad not, look absolutely solid? I, I love this, right? This is gnarly as anything for a start. Look at the legs. He's given himself those backwards jointed legs. Made of metal, obviously. I like the fact that there is a claw on one foot, but not the other. There's a nice bit of asymmetry going on there. And in fact, it kind of looks like, yeah, like the, 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 the plate that goes over the front of it. One is like a little bit more buckled than the other. There's just little touches that make the two legs... Very, very similar, but not the same, which is, I think, the absolute key, the key part of any orc contraption. It's close enough. It's not exactly symmetrical. It's close enough. That'll do, essentially. I think they've done a really good job with that kind of feel on this thing. So the legs look amazing. They look even more amazing when you look at how really, I'm just going to say it, deeply unpleasant they are when it comes to the join with the skin. The skin is just nailed or screwed or something like riveted even to the legs themselves. It goes up to where the knees were. I think it's it's fair to say that I think probably there's a bit of like actual still like biological knee going on there. I couldn't think of the word because you tell. But the metal just goes up into the front of where the kneecap would be. You've got this massive hinge on one side, like this huge bolt in one side, and then this kind of supporting strut on the other. It's so... It's gnarly as anything. So, like, the legs alone, would I would give it the seal of approval off that. Then it's got this massive, like... <laughs> this orc is just such a mess. It's got this massive, like, backpack thing, which is just grafted to his body. It's just full-on attached to him at all times through the use of big metal bars that are wrapped around him. And again, just just riveted to his body, just just stapled in there. It's it's pretty gross, to be fair. It's it's really it's like it gives me that kind of that that, that all body uncomfortableness where you see something and think that looks like it really really hurts it just makes you feel kind of yeah Th this has that complete with like the fact that it is attached at the top as well like where the neck is and you've got like the uh i don't know the names of all the muscles but like your shoulder muscles at the top there joining into the neck again big old metal plate supporting his insane backpack which by the way key detail seems to have a small squig acting as some sort of blood bag like, that looks like... It's the kind of setup that you see, like, saline fluid and stuff hanging from in hospitals. But it's a small squig with a uh, with a pipe jammed somewhere. Not really sure how squig anatomy works. Could be jammed somewhere unpleasant. Or it could just be stuck into a vein. And there's a bit of, uh, a bit of like, greeny, greeny blood coming out. Oh, that's just the colour of the tube. It's hard to tell. Either way, bad times for that baby squig. The head on it is creepy as anything, largely because he doesn't seem to have any eyes <laughs> i'm assuming does he need eyes i mean where he's going does he need eyes like it's it's a again it's a that's just kind of creepy how does he see does he need to see does it even matter whether he can see or not i mean it, presumably he can do his job because look at the state of his legs he did that so I, i'm gonna go ahead and guess that he knows what he's doing but still the absolute like the complete lack of refinement on that claw as well, like the power claw that he's got replacing his arm, the fact that you can just see like like pneumatics and just metal tubing, and there's no attempt to make it look good. There's no attempt to like make it look anything other than just a bunch of metal welded together. I love it. 
absolutely love it. And I have to admit, I'm somewhat intrigued by that little winged squig thing. If, if it is even a squig thing. Like the little, the little dragony lad there. Is that possibly a hint of things to come? Because we've got a squig on one side and they ride. They ride squigs, squig hogs, piggly squigglies, as they're uh, correctly known. Um, but then we've also got this, this weird little creature that's strapped to his boss pole there. Which has got wings. Is that like a hint for future, for like a future unit? Does this guy operate on not just the Piggly Squigglies, but also these like dragony creatures as well? Or am I reading too much into that? I'm probably reading too much into it, aren't I? It'd be kind of, it'd be, I mean, it'd be interesting. It'd be interesting. If the Beast Snaggers had a Death Copter equivalent, but they're riding like winged squigs, that'd be mental. <laughs> I'd be meant. I'd love to see it. It'd be, it'd be mental, but maybe no. I'm getting my hopes up for no reason. It's just. It's probably just a bit of decoration, or is it? I don't know. Anyway, so these guys are known as pain bosses. So they are enterprising surgeons that transcend the simple genetic knowledge of the pain boys and develop greater medical skills than many assume orcs are capable of. They're particularly favoured by the beast snaggers for their knowledge of a squig of physiology, giving them the ability to graft crude bionics and armour plates to their steeds when the need arises. I really like this. I think this looks really good. I really do. The big old vat on the back there, that kind of like big canister with the cracked kind of porthole in it, looks great. I didn't twig at first that the uh, that backpack that he's got, like the big power pack thing, the sack has got a full bionic hand. Presumably, that has been stolen off someone else. That looks way too advanced for the lad that's carrying it. I don't think he made that. And in fact, actually, with that different view of the face, we can see little eye slits in his in his uh, in his bionic head. So that's cool. But yeah, he he definitely didn't make that, right? He stole that off someone else. But someone is going to get that, and it's going to look quality. I, yeah, I really like this. I think they've done a great job on this thing. There we go, and you can see the uh, <laughs> you can see the pipe has been shoved into the squig, which actually, now I look at it a bit more closely, is hanging off that bit of metal by its tongue. So that's pretty uh, that's pretty gross as well. <laughs> Christ, oh, it's such a good model. It's such a good model. It's so cool. So these guys are so used to running around after squig hog boys that many give their slow organic legs a bit of fixing. One of the most popular upgrades is to attach devices known as super legs below the knee, <laughs> using the power of orc ingenuity to propel themselves at much higher speeds than normal. That's quality. This isn't to say that these docks exclusively work for the beast snaggers, though. They're quite happy to patch up anything for a bag of teeth. So once again, we've got something that's being kind of... This is a beast snagger release, but of course you can use it with whatever you like, because all orcs have access to pretty much everything, off you go. Um, so yeah, while it's common for docks to keep of all kinds to give a few Gretchen around to carry supplies, hold wounds open and be clenched in the jaw. Uh, the Grot orderlies that accompany a pain boss need a few modifications of their own to keep up. Why have tiny runty legs when you can have a motorbike wheel instead? Love it. Absolutely love this because uh, I, with my, my, my mostly unpainted Speed Freaks army back in third, uh, I did have, I had a, uh, I had an orc who had a wheel instead of legs. So this is bringing back all sorts of fond memories for me. That is an ugly, <laughs> an ugly little fella. Um, yeah, how how is he even alive? We don't know, but we can appreciate his work nonetheless. Oh, man, I'm liking this a lot. I'm liking this a lot. So the uh, the docks aren't just for fixing up injured bee snaggers. Like any orc, orc worth their salt, the pain boss is just as capable of giving umies, beakies, and any of the others a good kick in. Their claw, affectionately dubbed a power snapper, looks a little smaller and lighter than normal claw. Oh, I, okay. That's probably a good thing when you're getting a new arm attached. The last thing you want is the pain boss being less accurate. I thought it was going to give us some indication as to uh, as to whether that is going to have some sort of interesting weapon profile, given it's apparently a smaller, lighter claw. But we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. No doubt we'll get some more information on this guy sooner rather than later, given the week of previews coming up, but... Yeah, I like this a lot. I love I love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. More of this. More. More orcs. Flood us with orcs. Throw in some Eldar as well. Maybe a bit of Tyranids. Perhaps give uh, the guard some sort of new uh, infantry kit. That would be nice. Maybe I'm getting a bit ahead of myself here. 
I like the model. Let's just leave it there. Let me know what you think of this lad in the comments down below. Do you love him? Do you hate him? Do you absolutely love him? I'm assuming you all love him. I mean, how could you not? Look at him. <laughs> what an absolute madman. Let me know what you think. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things. Patreon, maybe subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like. Don't click if you don't want to. And as always, there's an affiliate link in the description for Element Games, which you can use to support the channel if you would like. I leave it in your capable hands. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.